Canal Front, Southern Shores, 175 Beach Street Trail. Four bedrooms, three baths, 1,811 square feet upstairs, park your boat right there. Fish right there. The um, owners are having a home inspection done right now. Doug Mickle, house check inspection, is in there doing the home inspection right now so that they can make sure everything is perfect and take care of everything so there's no worries for the potential buyer. Decks, huge mount decks. They've all just been redone. There's the canal right out there. Park your boat right in your backyard. Head out to the sound. Boating. Fishing, fish from the back deck. Oysterosa on the lower deck. Huge deck down there with gazebo, electric, you have lights, a uh, ceiling fan. A lot of deck up here. Huge lot, uh, 267 uh, feet along this line, 100 feet on the water, 237 feet on the south line, and then another 100 feet, which is concave in the front. Everything's organized. Right now, that's Doug Mickle doing the home inspection right now, making sure everything's ship shape. Gonna go upstairs on the top deck. Look how clean everything is. You can live outside in this house. There's so many different decks and they're all in such great shape. Huge front yard and a much bigger backyard. This is a screen porch. Let's come inside. Kitchen, right, open area. Everything open. Cathedral ceiling, skylights. The access to go downstairs. 55 inch screen television conveys with the house. 15 by 36 screen porch. Hurricane shutters. Right here? Yeah. Sitting area. This is where you end up living, right out here. Come right here. Look at the size of this. Now, this could easily be finished off, insulated top and bottom. And then all you do is glass this in. You have power out here. This can face with the house, this huge table. That cooking area, they actually cook out here a lot. Just because this porch is almost where they live. Uh, Beach Street Trail, and this is the owner, Susan Estrella. Hi, how are you doing, Mike? Doing well, doing well. Have a seat. Okay. I'll tell you about the house. All right, thank you. And this is, this porch is just amazing to me. Yeah, this and is my favorite room. This was the last room we added on, and it's incredible. We spent a lot of summer family meals out here. In the wintertime, we do oyster roast on the lower deck. It's a great, comfortable house. We've loved it. And um, our family's really grown in here. And it's just, it's great for outdoor living. It really is. It's a very comfortable, cozy house. And we're going to miss living here. It's been great. T tell me about this uh, this room. The, the uh, These shades, they're fascinating. Yeah, they're actually hurricane um, rated. They're Wayne Dalton, I think is the company. And they're called Fabric Shield. They actually pull down like window shades. They're made of PVC, and they've got a channel system. So when you pull them down, there's two little pegs that slide across the, the plastic at the bottom and locks them into place. And they're actually uh, hurricane certified, I think, by Dane County up down in Florida. I think it's up to 125 mile an hour winds. And the nice thing about them is, in the colder months, when you pull them down, they actually insulate. So you can sit out here even if it's chilly because they'll block a lot of the air. But even though the, they're kind of opaque, they still let light through. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're sitting in a real dark area. Just, I'm going to pull one down real fast. Yeah, I'll do it. I saw, I saw this earlier. This, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. So That's they just great. slide right down. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And then yeah, these guys it. just slide right out into the edges here, and they lock. And so if it's a really rainy day and you don't want to get any spray in here, just pull them down. It's just, they're simple. Oh, easy to clean. You just hose them down or wipe them down with, like, some kind of cleanser. And 
So that's it, they're great. And normally they go on the outside of the house, but we wanted them because it, it's just the terrain's too uneven for us to be walking out there, so we had them doing inside instead. They're wonderful, they're a great addition. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Office, sunroom, hung in the room. Check out that wood. Skylights again. Again, Anderson windows and doors. This goes into the bedroom, which we will enter. This is the master bedroom. We'll enter that through the other door. Notice the accent lighting. Notice the cove lighting in the top. The, the master bedroom suite. Kitchen, nice and convenient, open, plenty of room. Living area here. Go down and check out the living room. Heat pump was just installed in 2011. 2011, we just installed the heat pump. The outside is painted. There's the uh, kitchen right over here. We'll go down this way and two bedrooms on the right a bath, and then the master bedroom on the left. The kids' room with a trundle, does the map wallpaper, which can be left, and the blackboard wall. Great for the kids, the grandchildren. Anderson casement windows, big front yard, bigger backyard. Right here we have a bedroom, bright, nice, open bedroom. Corner. This is the northeast corner of the house. This is the bathroom that they use. All that. This bath has the light tower. It stays on. I'm gonna turn this off. That's that's not a light. That's the light tower. And the other angle. Here's the master bedroom suite. Notice the faux painting. Notice the walls. Carpets just cleaned outside of the house, just painted in May. There's the code lighting up there. Again, Anderson windows and doors. Double sinks, one here and one in the middle part of the bathroom. Walk in closet. Another closet, full closet right here, and a full bath. Bedroom, look out towards the canal. Master bedroom, cold lighting, nice big beautiful fan. Carpets just cleaned, painted outside. 2011. Okay, new heat this pump. is not heated and cooled square footage in 1811. This is 1092 square feet. Great office. Here's a little extra storage in here. Closed in here. We'll go around this way. You can see what a wonderful studio, art studio, office, man cave, whatever. It's just a fantastic area down here. Separate from the top living area. Full bath right here with shower, tub. Go right out here, and we're in the hallway now. We have left the main that area, and now that's the hallway to the carport and workroom. And we have a room that's been finished off. It's just fantastic here. Again, it's not part of the heated living area. This was originally a hot tub up here, and so that's why they have the different levels here. This is the all the kids and grandchildren fight to be to see who gets this room. It has a sink, but you would have to go inside that room where we just left to use that full bath. We'll go back out. And this hallway, plenty of storage. This house has more storage right in here. Plenty of workspace.
right here. Plenty of more counter space. There's the front yard, and here we have the garage right here. More storage back there. Everywhere you look, there's storage in this house. You know how people say you can't get enough storage? This house has it. Park your boat right there. Fish right there. Canal front, southern shores. And over there's the Holly Trail. All this along the edge. This common area. A huge amount of deck space. You could have a party for a whole army on this place. All freshly cleaned set ready to go electric fans ready for a party right now a huge screen porch on the south end can easily be converted into a living area the decking has been refinished the front deck is nice and huge as well completely around the house on the walkways around here here we have the outside shower new heat pump as of 2011. Extra storage here. Huge yard right here. Southern Shores Marina. 